Hey guys, I hope you all are safe and indoors. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my current shower routine. I have been taking some time to pamper my skin and hair because extra time is all we have during the lockdown. Uh, even though if you guys are not stepping out, it is extremely important that you wash your hair regularly so your scalp stays hygienic and clean at all times. So watch along as I show you all the steps and products to my current shower routine. So before I can shampoo my hair, I make sure to apply a little bit of oil in it. You can choose whatever oil that suits your scalp. You can choose coconut oil, you can mix a little bit of onion juice and coconut oil. It's really good in case you have hair fall and hair thinning. Uh, two reasons, because I have that extra time to pamper my scalp and hair and it really keeps my scalp and hair moisturized after the shampoo as well. Uh, in case your scalp is really oily, you can definitely skip this step. So I've been quarantined at my friend's place because of the lockdown and I carried the Pantene Advance Hair Fall Control Shampoo along with me. It lathers up pretty well and helps to get rid of the oil. It also has the benefit of Pro Vitamin Power which strengthens hair roots from within and helps reduce hair fall. So whenever I have oil in my scalp, I do around two washes and when I don't, I just do a single wash. I make sure to wash my hair regularly so there is no excess buildup of oil that can lead to dandruff and any kind of scalp infection. And then I remove all the excess water with my hand and then with a towel. Now this will make sure that the conditioner penetrates and works much better on my hair. I then follow it up with the Pantene Advanced Hair Fall Control Conditioner. I take a decent amount of this and apply it on my mid lengths to ends only. Now even the conditioner has the benefit of Pro Vitamin which helps in reduce hair fall and also reduces tangles. And then I finish doing everything else for my shower routine so that my conditioner stays in my hair for at least 5 to 6 minutes. I'm currently using the Palmolive shower gel and I love to use a loofah so I just squeeze that on a loofah and massage it all over my body. So on days when I shampoo and conditioner my hair, I also like to exfoliate my facial skin. For that I use the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. Now this has rice powder, I just need to mix it with a little bit of water and massage it all over my skin. This also helps in gentle exfoliation and leaves my skin really smooth. After 5-6 to six minutes, I rinse off everything with cool water. Now cool water is essential as it seals your cuticles and it also helps in adding a little bit of shine and luster to your hair. I make sure to apply some moisturizer on my skin right after my shower because that really traps in the moisture and keeps your skin really healthy and supple. And for my body, I'm using this one by Bath & Body Works. I really love their body lotions. They smell incredible. So I apply a generous amount of this all over my body, especially on areas that get dry like my knees and elbows. With my shower, I let my hair air dry naturally, which means I do not put any heat on it uh, to dry it. I just let it dry naturally. Uh, and that is because I want to take this time in taking care of my hair and uh, I'm not stepping out. So I don't see any point in putting heat on my hair right now. Uh, you can use a good hair serum on your mid lens to ends or you can also use the Pantene Open Hair Miracle uh, Leave-In Cream on your hair. Uh, it does have a lot of benefits and I have made a couple of videos on it already. I will link it in the description box and also in the card so you guys can watch it. So I hope this video helped. Uh, this is how my skin and hair feels with my current shower routine. If you like this video, give it some love and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!